You should be on if you hit the button. You can say hi. Ask what they have to be for Patty. Alright, we're on here just a minute early, so I won't even sh say to spiel yet. Hopefully everybody had a wonderful St. Patrick's Day weekend. And a wonderful uh, weekend period, because, you know, we all need to have wonderful weekends mm -hmm. to make our lives amazing. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's, uh, what was I going to do? I was going to make this. All right, so hello everybody. I'm Tiffany. Welcome to my quilting life. Today is Sunday. So Sunday where I hope to inspire you and you and you and me to sew on a Sunday. <laughs> what about Scott? Oh, and him. Someday. <laughs> He's in the background. It ain't gonna happen. Rolling his eyes. It ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Anyways, today I am joined by my friend Eric Hello. from Treasure Heart Creations. His channel is here on YouTube, but today he's in my sewing space because we're having a little sewing quilting retreat this weekend mm -hmm. with just me and him hanging out, having fun, sewing, and sewing some more, and sewing some more, and more, and more, and more, and more. <laughs> and today we are going to teach you Actually, I'm teaching Eric and you at the same time how to make a box bag. I have I normally have an example to show, but I don't today because What's I got rid of all bag? of my bags. <laughs> What's box? It's a, a square bag that you can put medicine, like a pencil bag, bag. like a bathroom bag, bag. like toiletry a cosmetic bag, bag a toiletry yeah. bag, yes. whatever you want to put in it. And we pre-cut our fabric so that we're not here forever, but. To make today's project, you need two fat quarters and a 15-inch zipper or 16-inch zipper. It don't matter, 15, 16, whatever size you want, you need a zipper. We are, in fact, using invisible zippers because that's all I have left. And, well, they still work, so, hey. I feel like Ben away. <laughs> the other thing you will need is some interfacing. You'll need uh, a half a yard for that, and then what else? Which is because it's 20 inches, so. And then we need some batting. You could use fusible batting, fusible uh, fleece, and fusible, what's the other one that's fusible that's like batting? Um, there's another one, flannel, right? Flannel, yeah. or interfacing. Or interfacing, or fusible, whatever, that's like batting. I just so happen to have some 80-20 leftovers, so that's what we're using today, which will make our bags nice and stiff. <laughs> so, the cuts. I'm going to tell you the cuts. For your outside fabric, fabric from your fat quarter for your outside fabric, we are using a 10, that's 10 inches, by 12, that's 12 inches, piece of fabric times two. So you would cut two 10 by 12 inch pieces of fabric from your fat quarter. That's for your outside fat quarter. And ready for the inside pieces for your inside lining fat quarter? That is also 10 inches by 12 inches. Look at that. It's so simple. Just like that. Two fat quarters. They are 10 by 12, four 10 by 12 cuts. That's two for your outside fabric two for your inside fabric and then from your outside fabric from the little leftover side piece for your little hook strap thingy so you can have like a side hook or a finger you are, hook You're doing a, good job. a little hook thingy that you can have you can have it on both sides of your bag at the zipper or you can have it on one side however you want it it is four inches by ten inches and the only reason why it's ten inches is because that was already cut so I just cut a four inch strip Simple enough, right? And then we'll cut it to size after we make it. And then our batting, if you are not using a fusible, or if you're using a fusible, it needs to be smaller than the outside of your piece. So your batting needs to be, if it's 10, if you're cutting a 10 by 12 piece, your batting needs to be 9 by um, 11. There we go. Nine by 11 so that you have room to hook your zipper. But if you're using a fusible, you can get away with doing a, 
uh, nine and a half by ten, nine and a half by eleven and a half because it's fused to it and you have plenty of room because it's a flatter type batting uh, to go against your zipper because our zippers are kind of skinny so we really needed to have a little bit more room for our zippers to be sewn in. So that's four cuts that are nine or 10 by 12 for your outside and your lining. A 15 inch zipper, a four inch by 10 inch cut from your outside fabric and some batting. That's all you need. And some thread and a sewing machine and pins if you want a pin or clips. I, I don't do any of that stuff. But if you want to, you can. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. And if you guys have any questions, ask. Scotty will try to do his best to throw them in into our conversation here. But we're going to get started. So hello, everybody. I didn't welcome you all individually. They're all commenting. <laughs> <laughs> We're having one of those days today where we're just being silly and having fun. and We're know. having one of those weekends, put yeah, it that well, way. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's one of those weekends, yes. <laughs> so we're going to start by taking our outer bag pieces, and we're going to be laying our batting on it to where you have a half an inch all the way around, in our case especially. And we're going to quilt this on here. You can do an X across it. You can do a couple lines. You can do whatever you want. We're just going to do a couple quilt lines across the whole thing. Just on both of them to hold the batting down because I don't have a fusible again. So, and the interfacing. That's the other thing. Don't forget the interfacing. You need that too. You can change your stitch length too, by the way. I use a 3.0 for quilting. I'm just going to... No, I'm not feeling better. I just was snot desnotting myself before the live stream. Oh! <laughs> they wanted to know that. They yes, they wanted to know that. that. Uh, let's see. I don't want to go... Right. Doing random quote lines. Yeah. Oh my. You're all racing? No. no. Racing. <laughs> I lose. They're saying let the race. much fun to have a friend over and sewing all weekend long. visited my friend Eric's YouTube channel, you can type in explanation Eric and then it'll give you a link that you can click on to subscribe to his channel. And I also have moderators out in the chat that have their own channels too, like Teresa Louise and 
Somebody else. I don't know who else is out there. Jim and Kim are here. Jim and Kim are here? Yeah. Days of moderating. for any top stitching or anything like that. So my pieces are so adorable. There's one. Are you putting batting in one outside piece or both? Both outside pieces have batting. And here's my other one. <laughs> it's fun to just do whatever, right? Yeah. Do whatever and don't care. Yep. All right. Oh, little Dr. Dot Cool Game. Look at that. <laughs> Show them what With your the outside pepper. fabric looks like. Well, they can't see those. This is his <clears throat> outside fabric and his quilting. It's so cute. All right. Once you have your outer pieces quilted, we're going to take our zipper and we're going to put that with one of our outside pieces. We're gonna put that right sides together and we're going to clip that on. So here's clips for us, Eric. We're gonna clip that outside zipper right sides together. So the side of your zipper that goes to the outside that you want to slide open, that faces the outs the outside of your bag, so they're right sides together. How much would one of these cost? What do you mean? How much would one of these cost? It that would is cost the question. Word for word. Probably like twenty bucks. Cost? You've sold two before. Yep. So how much did it cost? Twenty bucks. Okay. Yep. So that's they're clipped, and we're going to take our first lining piece. Our first lining piece and we're going to put that right sides together with the fabric along the zipper and then we're going to unclip our clips and reclip them you're going to line everything up so you're going to unclip it and then reclip it lining it up and put some more clips just so i can hold it up and show everybody better and it doesn't come undone so you'll have you're lining right sides together with your outside of your bag and your zipper is right sides together with the outside of your bag. And now we're going to sew a quarter inch or a zipper foot length down this. You got to put the zipper foot on. It's on. Oh, no, it's, no, not. it's not. No, it's not. Make sure your needle is on the correct side or else you're going to knock the dumb thing. So whatever side your zipper is on, put the zipper foot on that side. So if you're going to sew right here, you want the zipper oh, foot on right. the, that side. Right. Yep. And then you just line your needle you up it. with that. The, the brother machine has a zipper foot and Eric's never used it before. And what we're going to do is sew a quarter inch down the side that we clipped. And I'm going to change. Zipper head matter. No, just leave it out of the way okay. for now. That way it's not in your way. 
we will deal with that in a bit. Okay, here's a test of my abilities to sew a stitch. Make sure that needle is proper. If I want to put in a vinyl-like insert on top of fabric lining, could I do down. this? And what type of vinyl do you suggest? If you're going to put a what? Vinyl-like insert on top of the fabric lining. Can I do this? And what type of vinyl would you suggest? A thin, very thin, very vinyl, thin vinyl on if it's going to be the outside for an insert. Yeah, I would use a thin vinyl. <laughs> After you stitch that, I forgot to tell you to start a half an inch in. <laughs> I forgot to tell you to do that. So I'm going to pluck out a half an inch. So you're going to start a half an inch in and stop a half an inch in. I totally forgot to tell you to do that. So I'm going to unstitch a half an inch. Because I have brain farts while I'm on live stream and I forget to tell you guys things and do those things. So we're rooting for Eric to win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen. He's on a pinto. Okay, not bad. Hold on, you got to pluck out a half an inch because I forgot to mark the half an inch mark. So before you put your zipper on, mark a half an inch in. Because we need that half an inch open. I'm actually going to fix this if I can. Is it too wide? Yeah. That's fine. Just go in and. Um, it's 10 by 12, right? Yes, it's 10 by 12. And you're going to, um, before you sew these together, just take a ruler and make a mark with uh, your fabric marker or a pencil or whatever and mark in a half an inch. Because that's your start and stop. I totally forgot that. So I'm going to re-remind you a few times. And I'm going to literally just take this under here and put a little tiny back stitch right there so that it stays and doesn't come undone. Because <laughs> I spaced that part. Uh-oh. Where does the interfacing go? The interfacing goes on the... The interfacing will go bumpy side to your outside fabric. So you put the interfacing on your outside fabric first. Then you will add your batting or fusible uh, fleece or fusible cotton batting or fusible flannel. There's three different kinds. And then you're going to take your, once they're, the zipper is sticking out like that, you're going to have that right sides together with the outside of your bag, and then your lining is right sides together with the outside of your bag. You're going to line them all up, mark a half an inch in, and then sew. A half an inch in to a half an inch in right here. So the stitching stops. So I have a half an inch open at the ends like this. I forgot to tell you guys that, so that's that. And then we're going to flip it open and we're going to use a finger pressing bobber thing right here. And then we're going to finger press this side too. We should have plenty of room because that batting is not in the way now, you know. I think the camera needs to be where I am and I need to be where the camera is. It's fine. I'm holding it up. No one can see what you're doing, honey. Your machine is covering everything. Oh. Well, that's why I keep holding my phone. I can see what Eric's doing. Just fine. Which Eric is unpacking stitches because the thread tension went off. Oh, did it? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to show him what the unit should look like by holding it up to the camera. Because I have finger pressed without my finger, using my wood pressing tool that you can find at tquilts.com. So, 
outside of the bag mm -hmm. is what your interfacing hooks to and what your batting hooks to. So make sure you glue on the interfacing first and then put your batting on and quilt that, okay? Once that is quilted, then you're gonna put your zipper right sides together. That means your zipper head is facing your outside of your bag. And then you're gonna have your outside of your bag, I mean the lining of your bag, right sides together on that. Mark a half an inch in from the edge here and mark a half an inch in from the edge here, and then sew your quarter inch stitch line from that mark to the mark right here. And then you're gonna flip it out like this, and you're gonna top stitch now from <laughs> here to here. We're gonna top stitch from your half an inch mark to your half an inch mark, which I don't have it marked, but I can eyeball it. You guys can mark it if you want to. So we're gonna make sure that it's nice and finger pressed, nice and tight like that. So it's nice and flush. Would a large wooden crochet hook do instead of buying a wood pressing tool? A large wooden crochet I so. hook? No. I don't think so for finger pressing, no. no. But if you have a seam roller, that'll work. Or if you have this kind of seam roller, that'll work. <laughs> Funny enough, a pie pin will work. A what pin? Rowing pin. There oh, you go. a rowing <laughs> pin. That would be a huge one. I'll wait for you. Okay. Make sure your zipper is right sides together. Right sides together. Oh. Yeah, and pull it to this side more. That way you have more room around that zipper head. Because it's fine, we're going to be cutting off the ends anyway. And then a half an inch in from the edge. How long have you been sewing, Peggy? I've been sewing for seven years. Do you write No, right? Is this both sides together? Okay, good. Put a couple clips down that so it's. Do you stays. add interfacing to the lining too? No, I do not add interfacing to the lining. The lining will be just fine. All right, start half an inch in, so it's almost right oh, there. Stop now, let him get in here. Right there. That's about half an inch. You're being annoying. Daddy can hear you. Wow, just woke up. Now it's the end of the world. Get over there. There you go, yeah. when I use that machine, I try to, I, I move my knee thinking I'm doing a knee lift. <laughs> Anytime I'm ever like working on that machine, I always try to go for the knee lift and there's no knee lift on it. Is the zipper on the 10 inch or the 12 inch side? The zipper is on, oh yeah, it's along the 12 inch side, not the 10 inch side. It's along the length, the 12 inch side. Just whip out just a half an inch worth. Don't forget, a half an inch in to a half an inch in. I have to re-repeat that because I forgot that step, so I don't want to confuse anybody. How about a wooden spoon for pressing things? A wooden spoon? Um, if you do it on the back, yeah. You can yeah, do it. on the back without... There you go, that should be good. Okay. All right, and then, so fold it outward. Here's the finger press. So you're going to fold the lining out and then give it a finger press, and then fold this back and give it a finger press. You can use the iron too, but we don't have the iron on yet. So I give it like a little bit of a tension, you know, and then, you know, oh, okay. press it. That way it doesn't create a crease. So we're going to top stitch it, okay. and then turn it around to the front side and do the same thing. 
So we're just pushing it back. It's kind of hard to press with padding on that car. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Okay. And now we're going to top stitch from a half an inch in to a half an inch in. So if you need to mark that with a marker so that you don't forget, because I already did the one time, <laughs> times 10, <laughs> mark it a half an inch in and a half an inch in, and we're going to top stitch an eighth of an inch from the edge along the zipper area. So we're just top stitching on the fabric side an eighth of an inch from the edge. Okay. So a half an inch in like this. Put my needle down on it. Okay, I want to make some fabric baskets and I was considering adding cardboard to make it extra stiff and standing. Any suggestions how to do that? I wouldn't put cardboard in a fabric basket. I would say get a um, foam. foam board. Foam board or a bozal foam. Yeah, a bozal form, foam like this stuff right here. This kind of stuff would work for inside the bottom of baskets. <coughs> All right, here's, I'm on the wrong side so I can see. Here's the top stitch, can you see that? So it runs along the zipper. I started a half an inch in and ended a half an inch in. So there's that, it's top stitched and it caught the back the whole way. We're going to watch Eric sew from that side of it. Half an inch. Do you stop half an inch? Back stitch. Are you pressing the back stitch one? Okay. Just back press stitch? back stitch without the pedal. Yeah, it's giving me this error message. But ER? Yes. Yes. Uh-oh, look at that one. Now try back stitch. It means you've done broke the work. That's not back stitch. <laughs> this is back stitch. Really? It was going forward. <laughs> Yeah, this one, sew. Okay. That one is the sewing for without the pedal. You can oh. sew without the pedal on this machine. Okay. It's a start and stop button. Machine don't oh. like you. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm a sister, not a brother. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's gonna use his hands now. He's getting on. <laughs> He's getting on right. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, now sweet. that that's done, we're gonna take the other side of our bag. Oh, geez, the tension is real off. Oh shoot! What the haywire? Okay, let's take everything out. Hold on. I want to show everybody what's wrong with the brother machine. Uh, it's having a tension issues. So that's what it looks like when machines have tension issues. So we need to solve the problem real quick. Re-thread it. Let me do it. Let me, let me be the tipping machinery fixer. Your job, I guess, is to be the life of the party, Eric. Let me put this back in right. Do, 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 do. This right here, that, yep. Yeah. Hold on, we need to stop. Do, do, do. Just start doing the Jeopardy thing here. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, 
Some tick machine has a life of its own for 200 Get your one legs out there in the machine table. I don't know if that's going to help or not, but... Oh, I keep pushing it back. <laughs> that looks good. Okay. Hold on. Let's try it on a regular piece of fabric. Press the button. Press the machine button. That's better. Okay. Tiffy fixed it. Tiffy fixed it. She's good at fixing her own machines. She's good at fixing anything. She can fix a car. She can fix AC on the roof. She can fix <laughs> what? Wait. Yep. The AC on the roof? Yep. Yep. I was the brawn, she was the brain. She told me oh, okay. what to put where, and I did it. All right, so while he's picking those ugly stitches out, I will just move on to the next step and then wait for him. Because <laughs> it's going to be a minute. So after you top stitch, we're going to take the other side of the bag, and we're going to put that right sides together, like this, right sides together, and we're going to line everything up nicely exactly on sides to side everything's good we're going to add some clips to this and then we're going to mark a half an inch in on both sides on that and then we're going to take our lining piece and that is going to go right sides together with your lining side. So you're going to flip it over, and you're going to line that up and put that on. And you're also going to mark this side at half an inch, or whatever side that you start to sew from, that's the side you want to mark with your half an inch from each end at the zipper area. So mine is nicely clipped, just like that. We're going to sew again with a quarter inch seam, a half an inch in, all the way across the top to a half an inch in. And make sure that all these edges are lined up so that your top matches with the top and your lining matches with your lining. I didn't even touch the pedal. What is it Whoop. doing? Whoop. Yes, sir. We have to know this machine doesn't have a lining. Yeah, this one's being, you know, being pity. Yeah. No, last night you had red issues. Yeah. Tonight, it's doing its own thing. Tonight, the ghost is working. Out. So, just so that you guys can see the stitch line, we're going to stitch half an inch in from this edge to a half an inch in come on focus right there from this side so you have a little half an inch all the way around on everything everything that you've done there's an opening that's a half an inch on all of it and then you're going to do the same thing with the top stitch you're going to press out the bag Oops, let's use the finger tool and stop using my nails. I'm just making them worse. <laughs> I really am. I, I, and they're never going to get the stuff of what they need to be for me to go get them done. And then we're going to open the bottom side. And we're going to press that. So you'll have a piece that looks like this, where you'll see both the linings, your zipper in the middle, your zipper should be facing the outside of the bag, everything's there, and we're going to top stitch this side now. Half an inch in to a half an inch in. That is so satisfying when you pull the threads out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> where did okay. I put my little pink ring thing? There it is. Jack is sure our friend today, huh? Uh huh. But that's okay. Jack treats us right. <laughs> he rips all those seams. 
Every time you say that, I just think a bottle of whiskey. Or... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to talk. Jack's last this. name is not Daniel. <laughs> in my, in my it older might be. Days, it used to be. In my yeah. earlier years. <laughs> it sure was. All right, so I'm going to top stitch now a half, an eighth of an inch from the edge. And I'm going to stop a half an inch. I started the half an inch in, and I'm going to stop a half an inch in. And back stitch. So you should have a product that looks like that. So it's top stitched here and there. The young ones on. Which one? one Hi, out. Alexa. Oh, she said, hello, Eric. Hello, Alexa. <laughs> you always set up my device. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime I say Alexa, all your devices are talking. How about I set it all off? Alexa, look up. Tiffany's Quilting Life. <laughs> is it working? Uh, what button are you trying to press? Back stitch? The back stitch. Which is the round one? It looks like this. Why is it going forward? Are you pressing the button? The back stitch button? Yeah. Now it's going, yeah, now backwards. going backwards. There you go. <laughs> Oh yeah, the tension looks fine now. Okay. All righty. I hope that. <laughs> okay. So now you need to put your other side of your bag on. This and pluck threads. Yeah. You know this is going to be my project. You need to uh, stitch further down. Yeah, I know. Right here. Just a little bit. You stitch it out right there. Okay. Just a little bit. So in just, just a little, little bit. bit. This is his first time, guys. Okay? Give him a round of applause because he's doing it. Don't stress. If I can do it, you can too. Yep. We're here to learn. Any questions while we are uh, here? Not that I can, right? Okay. Mm, you guys look great. Happy sewing. Looks like you guys are having so much fun. Yes, we are having loads of fun. It's like a retreat. Yes. That's what we kept saying. Yep. This is like a retreat. Yep. He gets yeah. to sleep in the fabric room. <gasps> a room filled with fabric. There's so much fabric you can barely walk around the queen size blow up air mattress. <laughs> <laughs> I had my fabric dreams last night. Okay. <laughs> it makes sense. All right. So that one now is going to go right sides together with this one. Okay. Just like that. Is this your first Line zipper up. pouch, Eric? Actually, no, but most of the zipper pouches I do are not this. Yeah. <laughs> They're not boxed in. They're just basically you have the fabrics together and you just sew all around. Oh, yeah. Like no, a pouch. Okay. We're not doing that. Line it up with the zipper, right sides together. Put some clippies on it. Once they're even, are they even on both sides? Sort of. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. The seam allowances will make up for it when we sew everything else. Uh, that's what I kind of figured. Okay. Clip. Clippity clip clip. Clip, clip, then clip. And then are we putting the lining on? Yep, now you're going to turn the bag over and you're going to put the lining the right sides together with the lining and make sure everything's all lined up. Come to the top and line it up with the zipper. Mm -hmm. Line 
right there. Right about there. Right about there. And now. And How long have you been sewing? I have been sewing for seven years. Okay. And then here is where you're going to. Can you see that? No? Yeah, I see a plus sign. And Who won first place? Here. I, I don't remember the name, but it was a dragon quilt that won first place for the <clears throat> SMP show. You sure it wasn't Dolly Parton quilt? No, lady says the Dolly quilt. Parton quilt was first. That, that was the judge's choice. First place on people's choice was the dragon quilt. I was second place, and the Dolly Parton quilt won third place on people's choice. And then judge's choice was the Dolly Parton. So the Dolly Parton quilt won two times. So won two pretty much grand prizes. And what did you win? And I won a Handy Quilter Capri 18 inch long sit down long arm. So it's the kind that, you know, is sideways on a table and you move the fabric. It's on an insight table. So that you move the fabric over the sensors that are in the table and it has a stitch regulator in it. But I'm going to try to trade it out for something else because I don't need another long arm. And if it, if I can't do that, then we're going to sell it. And if I can't do that, then I'm going to trade it in. Because I'd rather get what I want than something I can't use because I'm not really going to use it. I don't like free motion quilting. Okay. Not sit down free motion. I don't you do free motion yeah. quilting. You just yeah, need standing I just stand up. stand up on a long arm on a frame. I don't want to, I don't want to get down on the floor and baste quilts anymore. I, I don't like doing that. It's definitely, too hard. it's definitely not fun. When you have arthritis and bad hips, it's just horrible to, to do that. It's How annoying. many hours a week do you two sew on average? I sew two hours, three hours a day. More. No, because there's times I don't come in here for like four, four or five days. Okay. Unless I'm some filming. Days you sew all day. Yeah. Unless I'm filming, then I'll spend all 16 hours in here. I mean, I do take breaks, obviously, but I come in and out of the room filming. Okay, but we sold one and close it in here. No, it's fine. Okay. As long as you push it with the chingamabobber. How many hours a week do you sew, Eric? I'm lucky if I get one hour a week. Which is your live stream? <laughs> Basically. <laughs> All right, and then it's... <laughs> it totally it's fine. Went it'll still work. The zipper still works. It won't be in the way. Just push it away with that. Okay. And then top stitch. Top stitch. It's probably easier to do it from the actual top. That way you're on the fabric side and you're aligning your needle on. Oh, okay. You can put the Got it. needle over like an eighth of an inch, right? However, I don't. I can't see where the needle is in here. Right there. Yeah, perfect. Got it. It's easier that way, I think, from the top, because then you can spread it open as you go. And if you feel like the bottom is moving at all, you can also pull it out away, and the needle is holding it. You know. What do you do for work totally here? Pushing the machine. I am an accountant. For a nonprofit. Stop half an inch. Where did I stop before? I went out. Right about here. Yeah. A little bit more. Is this your super busy time, right, Eric? Um, kind of yes and kind of no. The, because I don't work in public accounting, um, <clears throat> I don't do taxes, although I can do taxes, but uh, because I work for private, uh, for a private company, um, we're just basically busy getting ready to, for, for our audit and trying to close out 2022 still, so running all of reports and such. Yep. Ta-da! All right. That bread's all over the place, though. <coughs> yep. Huh? Which one? Which one? 
something. All right, next step is to take your outside fabric and your lining fabric and put them right sides together. So your lining fabric is now right sides together and your outside fabric is now right oh, sides okay. together. I got it. Like that. Yep. And what we're going to do is we're going to sew across the bottom of the outside only. We're going to sew across the bottom of the outside and we're going to sew across most of the bottom on the inner side. But let's do the outside of the outside of the back first. And then we'll do the inside of the bag. And we're going to switch to a, um, a quarter inch seam allowance. Because the zipper foot, you know, it's kind of hard yeah. to know what seam allowance you're using. So we're going to go with a quarter inch seam allowance across the bottom. Sewn across the bottom with a quarter inch seam. And he had to change the feet out so that it's not on the zipper foot. <laughs> and you just match the bottom ends up and sew all the way across the foot. How long are you here for, Eric? I'm leaving later tonight. going to take the lining fabric and we are going to sew in right here from the edge mm -hmm. and we're going to leave a hand opening so like you're going to leave enough to fit your hand in so like a four and a oh. half inch five inch Here's space <laughs> i got big hands well so. you don't need it that big because you can push the bag out the hole so we're going to sew in from the end to about i don't know right here so like two inches in and then from the end two inches in Okay. On both ends with a quarter inch seam allowance. And then I always back stitch at the part that I'm leaving open. Thumper <laughs> like Eric? Yes, Thumper likes Eric. And I like Thumper. And he likes Thumper, yes. Did it thunder while Eric was there? No, we didn't have no thunder. No. Okay. All right, now. Is your bag for you? We or should have. Or? It's for me. Now we should have two big, huge open spots here, like that. We're going to reach into the top of the bag right here, and we're going to find where our zipper is, and we're going to open it. Open it to about halfway. So get your zipper in there about halfway. And before we go anywhere, we're just going to let the lining fall like this, and we're going to seal that end of this zipper closed. So we're just going to push everything out of the way, Hold that zipper flat and just put a couple tack stitches to hold it together so that it doesn't open up. Hold on, I'll show you right now. I want to see the picture see? of the quilt behind you, then that one. See how it's holding together now? So it won't come apart. Oh, okay. I just stitched oh, so across the open it. side. Yeah, the okay. open side. I'm going to put a second stitch because that's kind of loose because I was trying to show you. 
It's a nylon zipper, so you can stitch right over it. All right, so that's closed, but the zipper is open because I need that open. How did you manipulate this? Okay. I drop. Oh, I drop the lining. Uh -huh. I let it fall out of the way. Okay. Like that, and then I line up the two ends like this, and then I hold it right here where they're level, ah, and then once it. that lining is out of the way, okay. at an angle, I don't want it to come back, just line it back up at the machine. You can even push this down like this, and then find the two ends, line them together. I guess I'm too much of a pro at this now. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of finagling. Yeah. You've done many. There. Huh? You've done many. Yes, I've done way too many. All you're doing is just stitching on the zipper itself. Okay. No, the, not the very straight. zipper thingy. Here, I'll do it. I'll okay. do it on this machine. <laughs> it's a lot easier for me because I do it all the time. Which mark on your plate on the Juki is of the two inch? Ah, uh, there's only up to one and a quarter inch on here. All right, before we go any farther, we can't forget this little guy. Our four inch by 10 inch piece. You really don't need the whole thing, but you only need like, I don't know, depending on if you want a hook on both sides of your bag. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this to the ironing board and we are going to press it exactly in half. So we need to plug the iron in. Okay, two seconds. Eric's got it because he just has to turn around and it's right there. So you're going to be pressing it in half. So the four inches is now two inches. And then you're going to take, once you're pressed in half, you're going to press each end in towards the middle. And we're going to do that on both sides. And then once that's pressed in, we're going to fold it in half one more time and create a one inch thing. So let me get it pressed and then I'll show you guys what it Can looks I like. Can I press it for you? I'm right here. You're okay, all you can press mine there. and Eric's. Remember, yes, Scotty, like all the way over there. exactly in half, like this, and then press the half into the middle and the other half into the middle, and then the whole thing over. No, you got it. You got it. Scotty's going to press it. The Iron Man is pressing it. What did you do to my iron? The iron is getting yucky, by the way. This is why this is my iron. You have your iron. It's over there. Look what you did to it. I cleaned it yesterday. Well, it's not going over the fabric. It's getting all rough and bumpy. Oh, is oh, it it's grabbing, grabbing on the? Now. It's grabbing. Yeah. The iron is grabbing on its own. Yeah, that's because you messed with it. It worked fine the last time I used it. It was doing something funky last night. Yeah. When she has her own iron, she has eight irons. This is my junky one that she wanted to throw away. On the electric. Okay. Mine. I could finger press mine fine. Because you have a thinner fabric? Yeah, that's true. The fabric is thick. Yeah, my fabric is really thick, the fabric <clears> that I'm <throat> using. It's a pretty thick fabric. I opened the fat quarters and I went to press everything nice and flat when I pulled it out of the fat quarter bin. And yeah, it was really thick compared to other fabrics. It's a pretty thick fabric. It definitely has some weight to it. Yeah. It probably went with like a panel set, you know, because some panels probably. are thick. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, look, this is already. Well, well, I just need to give it's it a an thin iron. Fabric, that's what, that's what yeah. Just so it. again, it is pressed in half like this in the long way. And then you press the sides into the center and then you press it in half again. So you'll have a unit that looks like this. So it's in half. And we are going to be stitching closed this side. So we're gonna be stitching on that edge, an eighth of an inch from the edge. And then we're gonna to go to the other side. So once it's on this side, you sew one side, 
then you go down and come back down the other side. So that way you have two stitch lines down the whole thing at an eighth of an inch. So you seal it shut first. Yeah. And then flip it around. have a stitch closed unit like this. So you're gonna to want to put a hook on either both sides of yours. Just one. Just one side. So you want your hook like this. Okay. Because I'm gonna leave mine long. So I'm gonna use the whole ten, almost the whole ten inches of it in mm -hmm. that. So that way you can like hold it with your hand. Mm -hmm. You know. All right. For now, we're gonna just set that aside. This is the fun part that I would like you to see. We are now going to take the outside of the fabric. And we are going to line our zipper up with the half mark. So we are folding it onto itself. And then we're going to repeat that with your lining fabric. So we're essentially creating this weird, funky looking thing. So I'm going to come over here so you can see. We're making this so we're making like a, a slinky the lining goes up to the zipper the back of the, the outside of the bag goes to the zipper and then the lining goes to the zipper like this and you'll have a flap here and there and a flap here and there so you have this like weird funky shaped unit just like this and and throwing it just like that. You know. <laughs> so it goes in half. You're matching the center of your zipper up to the center of the sewn bottom of that bag. And then you're going to be matching the bottom of the lining up to the zipper, creating this funky looking thing. And now I'm going to take it so I can lay it flat. <laughs> So now we have these two tubular looking things. It's totally tubular, man. Totally. Totally tubular. Messing with all these lovely ladies, Eric. <laughs> all right. Just, just making sure that it's center, just like this. Just like that, just like <clears throat> that. Just like that. Okay. Everything's good. And now we are going to be a stitching. Well, reason why we left that half an inch mark, okay, is we want to fold this lining first out of the way. Can they see you right here on the desk? Yes, they can. I'm going to take the lining out of the way first, just like this, all the way to where my half an inch is exposed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch on this side closed first, right here, from this to that. And then I want my hook on the, do we want the hook on the zipper side or do we want it on the other zipper side? We want it on the closed zipper side, right? Mm, I would yeah. Say on, the, which way, which way? on the side with the pool? On the side with the pool, yeah. Okay. We're going to be putting our little chingamabobber in on the side with the pool. So you're going to slide it in like this into the center. And I'm not sure if this machine is going to be able to sew through all those layers. Probably not. That machine. And then I'm going to clip this in place. So my thing is hey, you lined up. Brother's oldest daughter. Yeah. Walmart special. I'm going to come over there and show everybody <laughs> what it looks like with my stuff folded out of the way. It's our second Walmart special actually. The first one got traded in. So this is how I have it clipped, and my little hook is literally 
in there, center with the zipper, my long hook, because it sticks about right there, and you can see it on the inside. It's sticking out right in here. There it is right there. And we're going to take, because we folded this out of the way, we left a half an inch seam allowance open. We're going to stitch from this end here all the way across, butting right up with that half an inch we left open, and then your half an inch all the way down. So this is a half an inch seam allowance right here. We're going to stitch all the way down. And there's no zipper in the way or anything. We're just going to do a half an inch. And you'll know it's a half an inch because it's meeting up with the batting from when we quilted it. And I'm going to just stay away. You're going to go on the right along the edge of the half an inch seam allowance, okay? And you can give it a little back stitch when you get to the handle thingy. Okay, here we go. So don't Just worry about it. Just goes to prove to you that the price of the sewing machine does not matter. Nope. It's the quality of it. See, the brother's tough. I think yeah. you. you can do it. Now that we finished that side, we're going to go ahead and chop off that excess zipper and your little, if your thing is sticking out at all, your uh, hook. We're going to chop that off. And I just realized I didn't do a good job lining up those seams. Oh well. As long as it's closed, it's your good for you. I hit mine too, right here on the edge. It'll look so good for you. You'll like it. Zipper. And we're going to repeat that process on the other side. So we're going to fold the, the lining fabric out of the way. We're going to make sure that our zipper is center with the outside of the bag. Everything's center. Oh, so that's why you have to put it. the tack stitch there. Yeah. Oh, okay. That makes sense now. And you just put your clips on it. So you have a piece that looks like this. You want your lining fabric out of the way because we're going to stitch a half an inch seam allowance from this side, crossing the zipper area all the way to the other side. So just make sure that your lining is folded out of the way. We're going to do a half an inch again. done with that you can chop your zipper off because it's not needed is it going over it no. even if you have to go So now you should have that outside of your bag sealed off and the in lining of your bag is not. So I'm going to reline that back up. <laughs> My seam is like... <laughs> we're going to press it nicely right here and we're going to flip it over and repeat that process except now we're moving out of the way the outside of the bag and this is going to get a little trickier because the outside of the bag is a lot more fluffier see we have to get right next to this with our seam wow. okay so i'm going to show them if i can hold it out of the way we're going to be going right next to this right here with our seam so you're going to come right up to it as close as you could possibly get your needle right up next to that and we're going to sew this side shut now so we're just going to hold this out of the way 
hold that bulk out of the way, and we're going to run our half an inch seam allowance from one side of the lining to the other. So if you have to clip it, clip it to keep everything lined up because it wants to move every time you yank on the outside of the bag. But that's why we left that half an inch. <coughs> so I'm going to clip mine in hopes that that guy stays out of the way. I'm even going to take the clips to the outside of the bag. I can't see it from here. Hold on, I'm showing them. So the outside of my bag is clipped down as well with the clips because it's kind of thick and we want it out of the way so that we can sew our half an inch seam allowance. And even on my Juki, I have to be super cautious because I'm really up close to this edge. So just so you guys can see, I'm literally stitched right up to it now. And once that's done, we're going to actually trim away all the excess from the outside and from the lining as well. But let's seal the other side first. We're going to do that same exact procedure. Oh boy. What'd you do? Did you get past it? No, it's going to be tricky. It can do it. Brother can, can do, do it. it. It's just that my seams are kind of wacky. Just use your fingers, hold it out of the way really good, and go slow. You can even back stitch it there too. There you go. Look at that. Okay. And we're going to repeat it. With the opposite side. I'm just going to clip the bag, outer side of the bag, out of the way like this. And we're going to roll this out of the way too. The zipper should be touching the lining, not the outside of the bag. You're not holding the outside of the bag. The zipper needs to be on the lining side of things. You want to you don't want to be folding the zipper to the back side because we're trying to seal that section now. We've already sewed it on the outside of the bag side. So I'm going to hold it up to the camera again so that you can see. We're going to be stitching across this a half an inch seam. This is all folded out of the way. The zipper is on the lining, it's touching the lining, not the bag. I put the bag out of the way. The outside of the bag is out of the way. Come right up to it, half an inch, all the way to the other side. do now is we're going to cut away the excess all that excess from the bag and we're going to leave a quarter inch seam allowance <clears throat> I'm just cutting away all this excess leaving a quarter inch seam allowance so you don't need that much 
So I just trim that up and I'm going to trim the lining up as well on both sides. It's kind of bulky. Oh, you're cutting there. Eric. Tell everybody who you are. Very lost. Huh? Who are you? Oh, I'm Eric from Treasure Art Creations. Yeah, this is and my what friend. Do you do on our our channel? Channel. Uh, we do a lot of quilting stuff, a lot of crafting stuff, so it's not all quilt, quilting related. Um, I you usually, make Christmas ornaments and everything. Yeah, crafting. Um, probably do a little bit more card making. I'm trying to do a little bit more card making stuff, but uh, we do a little bit of everything. Anything crafting related or anything I'm interested in, so... That's uh, Treasure Heart Creations. Um, Scotty will put the link in for you. And I you use, I'm trying ways. to go on live usually after Tiffy comes off. Yep. So, so Sundays are usually Ian with Off Kilter Crafter Ian, and then Teresa Louise Iquil too, and then me, and then Eric. That's the usually the order. So Off Kilter Crafter Ian. Uh, Teresa Louise I Quilt 2, Tiffany's Quilting Life, and then Treasure Heart Creations. That's usually the Sunday order of things. So you have a whole day of entertainment. Yep. Too many. Yep. Oh, really. All right. Yeah, now we have this funky days. looking thing, right? You're like, what, what, what did we just do, Tiffany? Well, what we did was we're going to reach our hand in that hole, and then we're going to find our zipper, and we're going to unzip it the rest of the way. And we're going to pull everything out through the hole. <laughs> Birthing a bag. Everything comes out through that hole. Tell them the Facebook group link is in. The Facebook group link is in the chat right now. Oh, the world didn't get the most in there. Tell them to answer the questions. Oh, oh yes, answer the questions to join the group. Oh, yeah, we forgot to box the corners. That's right. Anyways, this is what it looks like if it's flat. If you want a flat bag, you don't need to box the corners. We're going to turn it back out and box the corners. I'm going to show you. Here is a flat bag for like tissues or whatever, you know, front facing flat bag. It's out of the way. Just keep it out the other way. We're going to make a thingy. I'm oh, showing them real okay. quick. So here's a front opening flat bag. See, I'm telling you to do things before they need to be done because, you know, I'm ahead of the game. I'm, I'm so excited. I'm the slow turtle. <laughs> we need to box our corners real quick. Uh -huh. So leave it like that. Okay. This does look like a tissue bag. Yeah, it's like a tissue bag. Mm -hmm. Which it still puffs up when you fill it with stuff. Yeah. But what we're going to do, I'm just going to re-flatten it back out. Now that I've trimmed everything. And this bag, oh my goodness, what size did we do it? We did um, 10 by 12, right? 10 by 12, yeah. All right, we're going to box these corners. So we're going to chop off all four of these corners, okay? With an inch and three quarters. An inch and three quarters. One and three quarters. So make sure everything's nice and flat. We're going to try to cut through all these layers at the same time, an inch and three quarters off of every corner. Three quarters mark. You can mark it and then cut it too if you want, make it easier. Just like this, you can mark all of them on both sides if you want to just cut through one layer at a time. Inch and three quarters. Inch and three quarters. Oh, Becky, yeah. yes, you have MS, and yes, you like to do everything fast. I have MS, yes, I like to do everything fast. That's not why I like to do everything fast. I like to get things done because I hurt really bad. She's just comparing you to her yeah. son, Chris. He had yeah. MS, and he liked to do everything fast, and you yeah. do too. I do, do everything, everything fast. everything as high as possible. Yep, she I does. like to cook fast, yeah, everything, true. yes. She cooks her eggs at, at 
seven or eight. Eight's the highest it goes on the burner. She has them all the way up to seven or eight full time. She, whenever she cooks, whenever she does anything, she goes fast. I like to wait. I'm going to show them what this looks like after I cut these little guys out. Quarters. And then it's good because see, once those are marked, then you just take the outside of the bag and copycat it. You don't have to uh, well, remark. <laughs> it wasn't cutting for me. Oh. It won't cut for me because my hands don't have the strength. So I, that's why I'm struggling with this one. So I do one at a time because like that, my hands just won't do it. When is our quilt show? Um, well, they just said February, but it's usually November. When we were at the shop the other day, she said yeah. February, but it's usually in November. Or they change it tomorrow. I have no idea. Well, Auntie, so I'm going to have to find out. Auntie wants to come, so. Oh, uh, yeah, Lori Fair. Yeah. I don't know. Is it Auntie, Auntie L. Handmade? Yeah. Yeah, that's Lori Fair. Tell her it's in Havasu and it's normally in November. Lori, I'm just letting you know, I will be in Vegas on the 24th. First of next month. I think that's the day. Whatever day is Friday of next month, I will be in Vegas and I will be I will be making time to meet fans. I will let all of you know, whoever's on the West Coast and wants to meet and hang out in Vegas, I will let you all know the exact date and time um, on my community tab, which is here on YouTube. Because I'm not 100% sure of the times yet of everything. Because I'm not a planner. The person I will be with, my friend, <laughs> well, you guys know because she said it too, Becca. Um, she plans things, I don't. Scott plans things, I don't. Eric plans <laughs> things, I don't. So I got to, you know. I plan poorly, though. <laughs> I don't. I just do whatever, you just whatever. Go. I'm not a planner. All right. I just wake up one morning and say, I want to do this. And then I change my mind three quarters of the way through the day. So here's my pieces cut out. And now what we're going to do is we're going to open these up. I'm going to move that out of the way. And we're going to sew our corners with a half an inch seam allowance. So our corners, you can actually do a quarter inch seam allowance, honestly, because yeah. it doesn't really matter at this point. Um, and then so this one, and then we're going to move on to our lining pieces and do the same exact thing. So we're going to do all those corners. And if you need to pin them, clip them, whatever, do that. I usually don't. So I just line it up and go. And I backstitch along the way. Across the whole thing, I backstitch back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I told him this. Gosh, I'm done with it. Yeah, there's lots of, there's eight of them to do. So you're, you're boxing eight areas. Instead of like on a regular bag where it's just the lining, two on the lining and two on the whatever, you're actually doing it on eight. Like I'm giant? Huh? Yeah. Alright. So I'm doing all of the outside the bag first and then I'll do the lining next. All right, so all of my outside.
inside of my bag is done. And you just need to manipulate it to do the lining pieces because there's so much in the way now. And you just center that seam in the center. If you need to clip it again, clip it. I don't usually do that kind of stuff all the time. On bags I try to, but I don't always. There's a lot of um, areas. Oh yeah, here. Yeah. It's slippery. Making it hard to line up. It'll work. There we go. Sometimes you just need to like adjust everything. All those things we could make comments on. I mean, you know. People are killing. This is this. I mean, it isn't for kids. Technically, it's an adult I'm channel. Let me get the cat. <laughs> 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 to tame us. <laughs> I will keep that quiet. <laughs> Just let Eric laugh about it because he all those comments. I'm a bad influence here. <laughs> no, I am. Let me tell you. Is he? He's fighting? Yeah. Yes, well. <laughs> you getting them all? Did you remember to leave the zipper open? Yep, the zipper is open. I didn't close it when I showed you guys the flat bag part. Like when you turn it out before doing any of this stuff, before boxing the corners, you can use it as a flat bag as well, because I've seen bags like that before. But I totally spaced that we had to block little, little, little box the corners right before I was flipping it. I was like, oh yeah, that's the last thing that needs to be done. Duh. You know, I always forget something in every live stream. This is the hardest part, this last one. Everything is like you can do it. I know I can do it. All right, lots of boxes. Look at all those boxes. Look at how weird this looks. But we didn't have to bind this. The last bag that I showed you guys me making had binding in it. This is no binding. So is that easier? This it's is easier, easier than having to box <laughs> the insides and put binding over the everything on the inside of the bag. This is no raw edges at all. This way. No pressing. <laughs> I didn't, yeah, you don't have to press if you, you know, except for the strap part except and putting the, the, the whatchamacallit on. Yeah, I've seen one of those other, I won't say which company, but there's like every time you sew, you gotta press something. All right, now you push everything back out. So you pull your hand in and push all these corners out of all your squares. And then you drop your lining in there and push all those corners out as well. Making sure everything fits nicely. Burping the bag. You got all of your corners? Oh, you forgot one. That one. Oh crap. <laughs> oh, and that one. <laughs> you, you gotta show it to the boss before you you're just jumping gun here. Skipping steps, jumping the gun, I tell you. <sighs> all right. Uh, once it that's is, why I'm here to learn. Once it is all together, we just need to seal the inside. But I'm gonna show you what mine looks like. Before I seal it real quick. Eric just wants to get the red net when he gets the 
So I put my handle on the zipper side, this big old handle. No, this for my bag got hot glue the whole thing. <laughs> I put it on that side, but now there's nothing to hold it on this side. See? You can hold it to open it, but then you gotta close it. What side did you put yours on? I have no idea. <laughs> I didn't finish. <laughs> Well, while he's sewing it, well, gonna... it yeah, we're going to take the lining back out and we are going to seal that lining up by folding those ends in. If I can get this to just go out here like this. We're going to grab the ends. We're going to fold that in. Just like this, where it's like a quarter inch in all the way from one side to the other. And then you can clip it if you need to, or press it if you need to. I am just going to pull on it so that it folds. And then I'm going to top stitch with an eighth of an inch of a stitch. With an eighth of an inch stitch, uh, whatever, an eighth of an inch away from the edge. <laughs> what the hell is this on? I don't know if you lose your spot. You have one more. I have one more, but I thought I got all four of them. Okay, well, while you're doing that, I'm just going to seal mine up. And while mine is being sealed up, we're going to do a giveaway for the U.S. residents only. The codes for the giveaway are only, only work during the live stream. And you must be present and then message, you know, that way... When your winner, when the winner is drawn, let us know you're still here. So let me get it set up, and it's U.S. residents only because I will ship it free in the U.S. We're going to give away this bag that I just made, and I think you type in explanation gift. I think that's the word. I don't know if it's on yet. Because it's on my screen, it's not. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it goes. It's working. Holy cow, yeah. No, it's yep, working. it's working. So, yeah, explanation like, gift, anything. all one word. The explanation mark, G I F T. That enters mm -hmm. you to win. This bag that I am now sealing up because it looks good. It means it's done. And I'm just finger pressing with my thumbnail to get this to close. Okay. Oh, yeah. So awkward because it's a box. <laughs> there we go. Get under the needle. And then so it can ship. I left a bigger opening than I normally do. Normally, I really just right at the end. Barely enough for my hand. questioning what the heck did I sew together? So is it not opening because of something? Mm, well, it's opening. Does that it work good to me? You did a fine job. In there, everything looks good. There's no raw edges. It is quilted. And the zipper works. I should have put a little pull on this side too. So, but there's our box bag. And which one do you like better? Your one with the two zippers or the, the one? Or does the other one have two zippers on it? You mean two pulls? No, that one has two zippers. No, it only had one oh. zipper. Oh, it had the, the two straps. It looked like a oh, mini backpack. Oh, yeah. yeah two I made straps. two straps across That's the top of it. So this one just has like a handle. Okay, now let me just sew this part shut. Okay. 
We got we'll like just that, one that made, open. Made that one. So here go. is. There you go. We're gonna hold it up. So this is what you guys are entering to win within the United States. So it is a little cute box bag, and there was no raw edges on the whole bag. So that is how you make. See, everything is sealed in, no raw edge bag. Look at that. And we didn't even have to go to the iron except for making the strap, which you could put on either side. You could have cut this handle in half. You could have cut the handle in half and used half on each side. So you had a little handle on each side. You can make it little, little for, you know, like a D ring size. You can make it however you want, but that's it. So it, it has a handle though, at least for the zipper side, but from the bottom, you have to actually hold the bag. <laughs> so there's that. Oh, you guys want to see the quilt that I won with right there. That is my second place quilt. That is my Tiffany's Epiphany. Okay. Down right. There. Okay. There we go. Mm -hmm. Did you seal it? Think. You think? <laughs> Eric thinks he did it. Will that fit your prescription? Yeah, well, but why is my lining so much bigger? Maybe because your seam allowance was different. Maybe you are on that machine. Yeah. Yeah, I think a, um, a fusible uh, felt or batting or flannel would probably make it a little bit more stiffer than having batting. But we use 80-20 batting. But all in all, this is how you make the no exposed seam, no binding, no whatever. All that craziness is for the box bags. This is how it's done. Just like that. And you can change the numbers. You can do, say, if you want smaller, like a pencil bag size, you can do like a six inch wide by um, 10 inches. You know what I mean? And that'll be like a pencil size bag, you know? I think pencils are probably longer than that. But you get the, the hint. You can change the outside of the bag. But this size right here, just so that you guys know, it makes a four so inch small? tall. I think it's the same size. By, yeah, they're the same size. Four inch tall by six inches wide by seven inches long bag. It does look smaller. So it's four inches tall. It's the same. It's the same. Yeah. It's just a fabric. Four tall. Six wide, seven long. So that's what you get from a, um, what did we have? 10 inches 10 inch. by 12 inch um, piece right. of fabric. Look at that. All righty, guys. We are going to draw for this giveaway. Hopefully you guys are, have all entered because it's going to stop in two seconds. Alrighty, let's go back to this right here, and we're going to close the entries. Eric, you did a great job, girl. And we're going Thank to you. pick a winner. Let's see who it is. Jackie Beatty. Jackie Beatty, you are the winner of this bag. That I have made. Eric made his own for himself. I made one for one of oh, you guys me. out there. <laughs> you don't want this one. <laughs> so Jackie B, please email me. Scott will put a 
uh, my email in the thing. Just copy and paste it and shoot me an email saying that you were today's So Sunday's bag winner and give me your address and I will ship it to you or Scott will ship it to you in yes. tomorrow's mail. Okay. Congratulations. All righty. She said thank you. Or is anything? She just said that she's here. <laughs> she said a bunch of okay. emojis. Awesome sauce. All righty. So that's that. Hopefully you guys understood today's video. I kind of probably confused you a little bit because of that whole half inch thing. Because I forgot to do that and then I turned the bag before cutting the ends. But I wanted you to see that it does make a flat tissue bag too. So you can put your baby wipies or anything in it in that other mode. You can keep the baby wipey package inside of it or, you know, whatever. They make adult wipes too if you're traveling. You can put scissors in it or flat stuff in it. Flat stuff. Yep. It works perfect for that. And then when you box the corners, you get your box bag. It's a box. It's a box bag. It's a box. So you can put your toiletries in it and your brush and your toothpaste and toothbrush or whatever you want to keep in it. They're telling you to be careful on your drive home. Thank right. you. All righty. Any other questions before we get off of here? Before I'm answering you. Okay. All righty, guys. Well, Eric and I are going to hang out a little bit more before he needs to get on the road home. Yep, he got to drive all the way back to California. <laughs> Can so. you use vinyl for the lining? You can use vinyl. You can use vinyl on the outside. You can use whatever you want. Just remember, the thicker the fabrics, the thicker and harder it is to turn. But uh, this was a pretty big size, so you can definitely turn this using um, waterproof canvas or vinyl. Yes. Yep. That will work. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how it's done. I want to thank you guys all for hanging out. Hopefully I inspired you to do some sewing today on this lovely, beautiful, cloudy for us Sunday <laughs> and windy and windy and windy. And thank you guys. I hopefully you go over to Eric's channel and subscribe. He could sure use the love over there and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.